Today, I'm going to show you how to set up and run your new RL30 machine, how to run daily maintenance and housekeeping on the machine, how to deline and descale your machine, and most importantly, how to break down your machine at the end of service to have it ready for the next day of quality use. So let's get started. If this is your first RL30 and you recently purchased it, congratulations. You've just purchased the best commercial undercounter dishwasher in North America. If you've already had an RL30 and you've had it in use, this will serve as a handy guide to help you through the day-to-day -day operation of your existing machine. Your new RL30 will ship with two brand new dish racks. The first one is a standard flat dish rack meant for pots, pans, and small wares. The second rack is a standard peg rack for glasses, dishware, and other small items. It will also ship with a blue technical manual from Minsinger. Be sure to hold on to this manual, and you may want to use the back to write the serial number of your machine for handy keeping. To start your RL30, simply press the large green power button. The machine will begin to fill with hot water. Once your machine has reached temperature, open up the front door, insert a large dish rack, and begin by loading your largest wares. Instinger recommends that you rinse any heavily soiled plates, flatware, or glassware before inserting it in the machine to remove excess debris. Be sure to place your flatware in a standard stainless steel flatware cup, and place your glasses upside down as to be sure to remove lipstick that might be on the edges. Once you're done, load the machine, close the front door, and press the cycle start button located next to the power. When your load of dishes is complete, you'll notice that the red light on the cycle start button will disappear. Simply open up the front door and allow any excess steam to dissipate before sticking your hand inside to pull out the dish rack. To achieve maximum sanitizing power, Instinger recommends that you drain and refill your RL30 every two hours during normal service. To do so, press the orange button located on the right side of your machine once. That's the drain button. Pushing the drain button once will allow the machine to suck out enough water so that the water level falls below the overflow tube in the center. Next, remove the overflow tube from the center of the machine cavity. Finally, press the drain button one more time. This will begin the drain cycle and suck out the contents of the tank. Note, it may take two or three pushings of the drain button to drain out the entire machine. When your machine is done draining, it'll probably look something like this. You may even notice some sediment around the scrap screen. Note, the machine will begin to automatically fill anytime the power light is on and the door is closed. Do not, I repeat, do not open the front door as the machine is filling. This is extremely dangerous and could result in burns. To begin breaking down your machine, be sure that the power button is switched to off. Next, open up the front door and remove the dish rack. After that's done, place the sprayer in the up position. Take one hand and remove the overflow tube. Once again, push the spray arm to the up position. It's mounted on a hinge, so it'll be easy to push up. After that, remove the overflow tube from the center cavity of the machine. Begin by removing the spray arms. It's easy. Give it a quarter turn to the left, and then pull from the front out towards yourself. Do the same thing again, quarter turn to the left and a quick pull out. For the third spray arm, quick quarter turn and one more pull. And finally, the fourth spray arm on the bottom of the machine. A quick quarter turn and it's right out. Finally, remove the scrap screen from the center of the machine. Wipe up any excess re residue that might appear. The process is similar for the upper spray arms. Give it a quick quarter turn to the left, pull towards, and pop out. Do the same thing again for the center spray arm. Quick quarter turn, pull towards yourself, the end will pop out, and pull out of the machine. Do the same thing for the third spray arm on the top right corner of the machine. 
When you remove the spray arms, you'll notice that they have a clever design. One end has two notches, which help lock the spray arm into the spray valve on the machine. you also notice on the other end, they have a nipple, which will help guide you when you put them into the machine. You can't put them in backwards. It's that easy. When you're done breaking down your machine, we recommend you stand them straight up in the peg racks. This will help dry them out and keep them organized so that they'll be ready for service the next day. So let's put your machine back together and get it ready for service. Start by placing the scrap screen into the center of the machine. Grab the first spray arm, line up the nipple, line up the two ends into the guide, insert, and give it a quarter turn to lock it into place. Let's repeat this three more times. Again, place it in, guide, and lock. In seconds, your spray arms are locked back into place. Grab the overflow tube and press it into the center of the hole in the scrap screen. It should lock into place and you may feel a little click. Finally, pull down the spinning spray arm and give it a quick twirl just to make sure there are no obstructions. Looks like we're good. Now let's rebuild the top half of the machine. Simply guide up the nipples into the holes, line up the rear ends, give it a quick turn to the right, and lock it in. Do the same thing three more times. Again, line up the nipple, insert into the hole, make sure the guides are arranged right, and a quick turn to the right, and it's locked into place. Finally, do this for the third and final spray arm on the upper right corner of the machine. Let's review the buttons one last time. The green button is the power on off button. The button next to it is the cycle start button. This will start your machine. The button on the end is the D-line descaling machine button. The orange button is the drain button. You'll notice that the red light comes on when you drain it. The temp guard button will tell you it's at temp. If you have any technical service questions, feel free to call us at toll free 800-344-4802. We're happy to help and we're here to serve you. Thanks again for watching.